Power on. Captain Power and the soldiers of the future. Earth 2147. The legacy of the Metal Wars. When man fought machine and machines won. Biotreads, monstrous creations that hunt down human survivors and digitize them. Volcania, center of the Biodread Empire, stronghold and fortress of Lord Dread, feared ruler of this new order. But from the fires of the Metal Wars arose a new breed of warrior, born and trained to bring down Lord Dread and his Biodread Empire. They were soldiers of the future, mankind's last hope. Their leader, Captain Jonathan Power, master of the incredible power suits which transform each soldier into a one-man attack force. Major Matthew Hawk Masterson, fighter in the sky. Lieutenant Michael Tank Ellis, ground missile. Sergeant Robert Scout Baker, espionage and communication. And Corporal Jennifer Pilot Chase, tactical systems expert. Together they flew powerful fighting force in Earth's history. Their creed to protect all life. Their promise to end Lord Dread's rule. Their name, Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future. Some air, I... Come on, cut it out! I demand to see the general! You're seeing him, Price. Too bad. You're a good soldier. Database journal 997 Mark III. Captain reporting. 0300 hours. Scout, pilot, and tank continue the reconnaissance of Sector 7. So far, all results negative. Picking up a signal, Captain. Started coming in a couple of minutes ago. Listen. Military code? It's coming in on the right frequency. It hasn't been used in years, not since we had lost it. Cut off at the source. Did you get a fix on the location? Just barely. Sector 42 Mark 7. Good, let's get going. Are you sure you don't want to wait for the others? No choice. There's a military unit still out there somewhere. We gotta find them fast. They wouldn't risk an open channel unless they were in trouble. And I don't like the way that that signal just stopped. Chapter 4, and the machine was given unto man. The machine was perfect of line and elegant of form. And the machine said, this is my gift to my people, that they may throw off the bonds of flesh. Dread, unauthorized transmission detected. Sector 14, cross-reference Theta. Let me hear it. Sauron? Yes, my lord. Possible trouble in sector 14, Zeta. Investigate and neutralize. Shall I terminate current operation? No, my sentry. Finish the task at hand and await further orders. It shall be done, my lord.
charge? 40%. Enough, we don't take too many more hits. Still alive, General. Get them below. You're awake. Good. Perhaps now you can tell us who you are and why you are attempting to infiltrate a military installation. I, I don't understand. We received a signal. Military codes? On a Code 9 priority frequency? Yes. So you admit to receiving an unauthorized transmission on a top secret frequency sent by a known traitor? I don't know what you're trying to imply, but we came here to help. Really? Then why all the weaponry? Look, you attacked us. We have a duty to defend ourselves. The whole world's falling apart. We've got to be ready. We've got to stay safe, train the men, prepare for the right day. The right day? My God, man, if you've got troops here, we don't need them tomorrow. They should be out there today, helping to train others. That's what the traitor Price wanted, to undermine my authority. Send our boys out there to die for what? To search for units that may not exist and risk exposing ourselves in the meantime? We have a duty to this country to remain safe until the president calls. President? General, the government's gone. You have resources, supplies, weapons. There's people fighting out there right now without much more than their bare hands. That and a little courage. But I guess you wouldn't know about that. How dare you, you love! Colonel. You shouldn't have said that. General Briggs is a good man, a top flight soldier. He's kept his men alive when others would have lost all hope. The general's mad. I've been with him five minutes and I can see it. And who are you working for? Why were you sent here to spy on our operation? Get stuck! I'll take it now. We weren't able to find anything on your confederate. My heart bleeds for you. But you, we have records on. Major Matthew Masterson, sole survivor, Earth Air Assault Unit. Was the rest of your unit unlucky, Major? Or was there more to their deaths than the mere misfortunes of war? Are you trying to imply... Also says here you knew dread before he became that thing. And now here you turn up at our doorstep. Coincidence, Major. Look! I knew Dredd. When he turned, he killed Stuart Power, my friend, and the father of the man you've got in the other room. Well, I'm satisfied, Colonel. Sir? Regarding the prisoners, they've broken into a military installation during times of war, admitted links to a known traitor, and most important, they now know the location of this base. That above all cannot be permitted. General, if we were to wait just a while, perhaps some no. more information. The threat to this operation is too great. Therefore, given the martial law under which we operate, there can be only one penalty. Execution. See this? It's a picture of my unit during the South American conflict back in 2126. You know, we had a theory about why we lost that war. Same problem they had back in Nam. Songs, Colonel. No good war songs. Sir, I... In Nam, all the songs were on the other side. Same when we fought down south. Neither war had a good song, so we lost. Maybe that's what's wrong now. Sir? Begging the General's pardon, I have to talk to you about the prisoners. 
Sir, I could understand more or less what happened to Price. Price was a traitor. We don't know that, not for sure. And now with these two, sir, I'm asking you to reconsider. Are you questioning my authority? No, sir. But I wish to go on record as protesting the execution. I want them terminated by 1,600 hours. Dismissed. It is good. My lord. Yes, Zoro. Now proceed to the next target. Investigate the source of the transmission. A detachment of troopers will rendezvous with you there. On my way, my lord. If you've harmed him, there's no place on the planet you can hide from me. He's strong. Never met anyone like him. He'll survive. Not that it'll make much difference. Jonathan. I'm okay. I feel like a tin can that somebody's been beaten on for a year or two, but I'm okay. We got trouble. The execution order. Yeah. We gotta get out of here. How's the corridor? Crawling with soldiers. Difficult, but not impossible. Not if our power suits were charged up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What do you make of that? A heavy duty industrial power cable. Probably connected to a generator. Maybe mainline transformer. You're not suggesting. I don't know. Wait a minute. You don't have any other choice. That thing could be carrying 40, 50,000 volts. It could be fried on the spot. Unless the power suit's modulation system kicks in with the charge. That should ground me enough. I can take the full load. Jonathan. I'm open to other suggestions. <laughs> Approaching the coordinates, my lord.
We're clearing out. Can you hold them off while we get the men out? Guess we'll have to find out, won't we? General, we've got as many of the men out as we can. Have to get out now. Come on. You go. This is my command. I'm not leaving. No one's going to take it from me. Sir, there's no time. Then get out. Go on, get the men to safety. This is my last order, Colonel. I'm depending on you to carry it out. It's a long way to Tipperary, to the sweetest cow. It's a long, long way to Tipperary. But Tell me about it. my position and pick me up and don't stop for coffee thanks what are friends for this is captain power
power. I'm closing in on Dredd. 